This video will show you how to make a website in GitHub Pages using entirely the GitHub website. This can be helpful because usually you interact with GitHub using a program called Git, and that's pretty complicated. So we're going to start with the website, and once you're familiar with the website, I recommend using Git also, but this will do to get you started. So the first thing I do is I log in. I'm already logged in, and you should if you haven't already. And if you need to create an account, go ahead and do that. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new repository. Repository is kind of what GitHub and Git call a project, so we're going to create a new project. So up here, we click the plus sign and find new repository. Click on that. OK, so we need to name our repository. I'm going to call mine brosfo.github.io. And you should do the same, but instead of brosfo, you should use your username, .github.io. And what this does is this, it has to be your username .github.io in order to automatically make it a website. So this is the simplest way to get going. Your website will be actually at this URL, your username .github.io, once it exists. And I'm going to leave the description open, and I'll initialize the repository with a readme. And I click Create. And you can see that you can drag and drop files into here. So that's the way I'm going to recommend doing it for now. So these are all the files in my repository. Right now I just have this readme, which is um, it's just a file that shows up down here. So it's a, usually a brief description of your repository. OK, so I'm going to use brackets here to, let me make the text a little bit bigger, to create a simple web page. In this case, I'm just calling it um, my home page. And I make sure to name it index.html. So if you look at my file browser, you see that I have it in a folder somewhere, and it's called index.html. I would actually recommend that you make a folder that is your username.github.io. Uh, it's just nice for keeping things organized. So it might make sense, for example, instead of this being called video, I could call it browsefo.github.io. And that will just remind me later that this is the repository. OK, so now I need to get that file onto GitHub. I'm going to drag it over. And it uploaded, and it asks me to commit my changes. I'm going to say added index.html. So when you add a commit message, that's going to exist in your repository forever. So you might want to consider what you add there. Usually I try to make it descriptive. And I'm going to leave this here and press commit changes. OK. So now we see that in addition to the readme.md, there's an index.html. If I click on that, you can see the code. And that is not the code that I thought I had, which is kind of surprising. Um, I must have been looking at the wrong file. I was indeed. OK. That's not that big of a deal. It's just kind of garbage. 
um, text in here that I was using to demonstrate something earlier. Um, what I'm going to do actually is show you how to change files. So I have I have this file I'm going to save as in index.html. I'm going to save it in in this folder and overwrite what was in it before. Right, so I'm putting it in the wrong place now. Okay, so now I definitely, this is definitely the right file, and it has just this text in it. So I'm going to go back to GitHub, and I'm going to drag and drop my file over. And I'm going to say update index.html and commit that. So now when I click on this, yes, it is that. Okay, so now we have an index.html. You really need an index.html in your repository. That is going to be the home page. So now let's see if I copy this and enter it in a new tab. Yep, it's there. Perfect. So it worked. So again, your website should be at yourusername.github.io. So let's say I wanted to add something to this because it's a pretty boring page right now. I can go back to brackets and I can add a paragraph. Um, I'll just say for now under construction and save and go back to GitHub and find my file in my file manager, drag it over, and I will say for my commit ch my change message, I'm going to say under construction and commit that. And when I refresh, it is updated. So perfect. One thing I should point out while I'm here is you should see the latest commit message that you entered. Um, if you wanted to see all of your commits, you could press here, this commit label, and you see <clears throat> the initial commit, added index, updated it, and then added under construction. That can be helpful sometimes when you're trying to retrace your steps. Okay, one last thing before we go. I want to show you how to create new folders, because that's not always obvious. Um, and it's a, little, it's a little weird doing it through the web interface, but it works. So, so I'm thinking, um, I'm going to be working on a class called Advanced GIS, and the year is 2016. So I want to put, um, I want to create a folder called 2016 and a folder called Advanced GIS and put a new web page in that folder. So um, the way you do it is first you create a new file here. And when you're naming the file, you enter the folder names first. So in my case, 2016 slash. And when you type a slash, it creates this folder here. And then I'll say advanced GIS slash. And then I... Give the file a name, index.html there. And I could leave this empty for now. Commit the new file. Okay, so now if I go, you can see that I have 
two folders, 2016 and advanced GIS, and then a blank index.html right here. Okay, so if I go back out to my repository, the way I usually do that is click on the name of it here. It's weirdly slow right now. Okay, so you can see that in addition to the readme and the index.html, I have this folder. Um, and if I had something else under 2016, it would also show up. But in this case, since there's nothing else in 2016, it's just 2016 slash advanced GIS. Okay, so now I can add files here, or I can update the index.html here. So back in brackets, let's copy that and create a new file. And I'll say advanced GIS homepage. And I'll say this is also under construction. And let's make sure we save it somewhere that makes sense. I'll create a folder here to keep it in sync with my repository. And make sure you call it index.html. All right. So now if I find that in my file system, I can drag and drop that over too. If I do it right, there we go. Okay. So this is updating on GitHub servers. I'm going to click on the index just to double check. Yes, it is indeed there. Great. So now, remember before the URL was browsefo.github.io or your username.github.io. After it, I'm going to say 2016 slash advanced JS slash and you see that my index file that I just added shows up. So this is a way that you can create subfolders within your website. You can organize your work a little bit, um, which is really helpful down the line if you want to add more pages or projects to your repository. I definitely recommend doing that. And remember that the way I created that folder was I went to the top of the repository and clicked new file. And then I said 2016 slash something slash whatever you want, index.html. Or if you wanted to create more folders, you can do that just by typing the name and slash. <clears throat> Okay, and if you keep pressing delete, you go back through those two. Um, so the way I <clears throat> did that earlier was I created one 2016 slash advanced GIS slash index.html, and then I uploaded it. Um, unfortunately, you can't just upload a folder to GitHub, at least yet. You can't do that yet, and you can't upload a zip file either. Um, you kind of just have to do this one file at a time, which isn't ideal, but it will do for, for what you're doing for now, hopefully. Once you are set with using the web interface for GitHub, and once you're really comfortable with that, I recommend trying out GitHub Desktop you should be able to get this for Windows or Mac. And this is a graphical interface for doing pretty much what we just did. Um, but you can do multiple files at once and f multiple folders. And really, this is the proper or one of the proper ways to do this. 
um, and the web interface is kind of a nice um, it's, it's a nice way to get started but eventually down the road I recommend trying trying out github desktop 